However, before we actually start learning about the Ubuntu desktop and how to use it, let me just give you a little more information, um, maybe even troubles that you may come across when trying to use Ubuntu. One of the biggest things is going to be compatibility. If a computer is not compatible with Ubuntu, you will have a tough time trying to get it going. Uh, many times it's a simple driver installation and I'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, if it's not even available for you, then there is no way for you to get that device working. However, over 80 to 90 percent of computers on the market right now are supported and you should have no problem at all even the older especially the older computers the older computers that are about probably two to three four years old they will run Ubuntu um, straight out of the box um, some may need a little bit of wireless tweaking and I'll show you how to go around that otherwise you will have no problem with any other aspect of that computer now if you don't have that compatib compatibility and you can check with Ubuntu on the Ubuntu website then um, you can always try a different OS or a different Linux distribution um, such as Fedora or OpenSUSE they have a pretty good selection as well you never know you might find that even though they use the similar actual information or software they may have something that we don't and they may actually work for you there uh, while not here one of the big things when moving and let's say you have a perfect install and you have a perfect situation going um, is the application variety now let's say you've been using Microsoft Office for a long, long time, and you know you've used it to you used to the actual orientation, the layout, and you just use it for work and school, and you have to use it all the time, and it's only Microsoft Office. That's not available for Ubuntu. In fact, that's only available for the Windows, and recently it was available for Mac. Whether it's going to be available for Ubuntu or Linux in the future is highly doubtful, since uh, Microsoft or yeah, Microsoft and Apple like to deny the existence of anything Linux orientated. Uh, however, the, we do have applications that work in the same area. In fact, they're very similar to it. And they can open, edit, and make new files that will work in Microsoft Office, um, such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. In this case, I'll go ahead and show you LibreOffice Writer. This is one of the applications it's simply a word writing application and you can do everything that Microsoft Office can uh, Microsoft Word you can do indentations, you can do paragraph editing um, you can do just a bunch of different edits uh, for whichever sort of situation you're in and we do also have templates and such like that where you can s pick a template kinda get it uh, in the right area and you can download more templates online as well right now it's very small because of a uh, space um, they're trying to keep as much space as possible so they're not trying to waste it too much on templates but there are downloadable thousands and thousands online from this link here which will take you to LibreOffice.com uh, but that is one of the things and again you can open, close there it is, or open office you can open, edit and create new um, of the Microsoft Office so it's fully compatible you have no problem at all working with Microsoft Office files so you don't have to worry about using this computer or this system and then a friend using another one and not being able to open the files in fact every single file format is supported by Ubuntu everything from Windows Media Player um, I mean MP3s of course documents uh, AutoCAD as well it just goes on endless list that we do support and there are ways you can save, edit, and look at those files without any compatibility issue. So let's say um, you've installed your computer and you're having a little bit of trouble with the wireless. Right now it's not showing up for me. Um, so considering that I have multiple users logged in at the moment, another one being my regular user, my regular user has the wireless on his, so I have internet at the moment through this user. So it doesn't, it's not going to show up twice. But considering that let's say we have a problem with wireless, and it's not showing up because of that. One of the first things you want to do is plug in your computer to an Ethernet port. And I'll go ahead and show you what the Ethernet port will look like and the cable as well. So this is going to be an Ethernet cable. It's going to have a few pins on the side. Usually has a little cushion on the end here. And the port is simply a little rectangular area with a little notch at the top to lock in place. So when you plug this into your PC or laptop or whatever computer you have, 
you have a direct connection to the internet, which is good because every single computer supports that direct connection. So once you get internet this way, what you want to do first and foremost is do an update. The update manager right here is going to uh, build and find all the information or new information that your computer is missing. Anything from security, new application updates, and even driver updates. What you want to do is press the check button, let it do its thing. So this will check for all the information on the internet, make sure we're not up or we are up to date. If you don't see anything, you're great. If you do, what you want to do is click on the install updates. And there it is. I found a bunch of updates right now. Clicking on install updates, then it'll ask you for the password. So go ahead and put your password. And this will update your computer to its latest uh, and greatest from security to every other aspect available uh, for your computer. And again, this will fix a lot of driver issues. If your wireless didn't work, maybe this fixed it for you. If not, don't worry. We still have another way around it. Um, even graphics can work this way as well. Graphics and any other driver on your computer uh, that may be, may be missing can be uh, fixed this way. So this is step one, the update. If that doesn't fix it, step two is going to be the hardware. Ah, what is it? Always forget the... Oh, wait, drivers. Just put in drivers. There you go. It's going to be additional drivers. Click on this little app. And what it's going to do going to search for any available drivers. This is, has to be done exactly after the update. So let this finish and then you can go to this. I'm just letting this go through because I don't want to make it too long of a video to wait for this to go through. But considering that maybe, um, that let's say the update is done, now we can go into additional drivers and this will show us anything that's available for our computer. Uh, that would be wireless, graphics, um, ports, uh, display, anything weird, any drivers that are not working at the moment. And it's going to give us a list and the list is going to be in this pink area here. So simply if you do have a driver that is um, available for you and not being used at the moment, it's going to be a little button, just click on top of it. <coughs> so let's say the Broadcom for wireless drivers, it's going to say Broadcom up here, and then you just click on top and it will highlight that driver area, and then click on enable down here. And this will start up, this will install the driver and turn it on and it'll tell you anything else you need to do from there like restart the computer or just keep using it sometimes you will need to restart other times you can just keep using it right away and this will install anything um, on the list here right now I don't have anything because it's already working up and running from out of the box and again this will happen for 90% of you uh, the other 10% you may run into a few driver issues here and there and if you do this is the exact way to go through it so once you enable all that you should have everything working and in that case um, give it or take, you're good with the situation, you want to learn a little bit, you want to get started, want to start using something new and fresh, um, we'll go ahead and get going with all the information for the tutorials, starting with the main desktop. See you guys soon.